Thanks, Cindy. Tragedy in the Everglades. Two people killed when a plane fell from the sky and crashed. BSO Fire Rescue says it happened sometime around 630 last night, but they weren't made aware of it until this morning. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones is digging deeper. She found information about who the plane belongs to and how the airport is responding. We've learned that the flight school the airplane belongs to is located here at the North Perry Airport. And the people that I spoke to today says the FAA were on the ground here as a part of their investigation. 28,000 State Road 84, reference plane crash. Tuesday night, a plane took off from North Perry Airport but didn't make it to its final destination. Its flight path shown here, the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, only tracked for 29 miles before disappearing on radar. A pilot I spoke to off camera says that's common and it can happen if a plane flies outside of controlled airspace. They also say aircraft do not have to file a flight plan, so without someone being given the departure and arrival destination, destination and times, there's no way to know if a plane was missing. The girlfriend called me and said that she, she was supposed to call her when he landed and he did not. His phone is off. BSO fire rescue crews learned of Tuesday's crash from a call made to dispatch around 1030 Wednesday morning. It was the girlfriend of one of the victims. Crews taking 40 minutes to get to the site of the crash, a location only accessible by airboat. You're talking, you know, 16 hours, 18 hours uh, of uh, those uh, two uh, parties being out there uh, in the Everglades. The aircraft seen here still burning while in the middle of a marsh off of I-75 near mile marker 28 in the Everglades. CBS News Miami found the plane is registered to Florida General Aviation, which is owned by the same people as Airline Training Academy or ATA Flight School. We stopped by Wednesday afternoon, but were told the owners had left for the day after FAA investigators paid them a visit. We spoke to an airport worker who tells us that ATA Flight School actually houses their planes at this hangar, and you can see a fleet of airplanes that look like the one that went down, and he says it was a part of that fleet. We've also learned North Perry Airport filed to evict ATA Flight School back in 2022. Then in 2023, the two parties settled after agreeing to a rent repayment deal. CBS CBS News Miami has covered many airplane accidents, both fatal and not tied to North Perry Airport. There was one in 2011 and another in 2016. There were two in 2019, three in 2020, three in 2021, and three more in 2023. But North Perry Airport says they've passed FDOT's annual inspection for 23 years. As for Tuesday's crash, they gave us the statement that reads in part, when the investigation's results are released, Broward County Aviation Department, as North Perry Airport's operator, will assess any potential operational or regulatory changes for the airport if warranted. While there has been an unfortunate series of aircraft incidents in the past few years with ties to North Perry, it is important to note that there appears to be very few common threads, except that they were flown to or from North Perry. The FAA and NTSB are leading the investigation into this crash. No word yet on the identities of the two victims. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami.